Hello everyone, and welcome back. And today we're going to talk about one of the most highly requested topics that I get in the comments section of a lot of videos, which is just, how do you deposit faster? Now this does have quite an intrepid history in that it used to only work in certain locations, and it required only the pressing of the interact button, whereas now it requires alternating and animation cancelling, but all of that's in the past, and I'm just an old man ranting on about the glory days. So let's talk about how to do it now. First we'll go over the actual mechanical components of a deposit. I'm using a time dilation mod to slow down the game speed so we can see this happening in real time. Now for this first part I'm just holding the interact key to steadily deposit my minerals. But something that you'll notice is they're actually taken in chunks rather than actually smoothly being depleted. While the number does smoothly deplete over time, you can see that the bar itself is the true indicator of how many minerals you have. The number just has some sort of scaling to prevent it from instantly snapping to a lower value. The bar is what we're paying attention to as it represents the true value of what's in our inventory. So now that we know that minerals are taken in chunks of 5 rather than actually smoothly being deposited, we know that that first chunk of 5 is taken as soon as we start depositing. So now we're going to try to spam the deposit key to rapidly deposit 5 minerals at a time over and over again. But as we can see, this doesn't work, because until the bucket is lowered back down and the animation is fully reset, we're not able to deposit again. However, we can mitigate this by pressing either the laser pointer key, the last weapon key, or, my personal preference, the pickaxe key. So if we rapidly alternate between the interact key and the pickaxe key at a 1 to 1 ratio, we'll be able to deposit 5 of each mineral over and over again. This cuts out the entire waiting period that would normally be in between each unit of 5 being taken away from the player's inventory. So with good gameplay execution, this can massively speed up your deposit times. And real quick, let's go over some numbers of what those actual deposit times can be. Of course, with the technique that we're going to talk about in this video, times will be a little inconsistent as it's all down to player skill, execution, and there's always a little bit of jankiness depending on frame rates and how quickly you're inputting the controls. And just to throw my methodology before we get into the numbers, the way that I'm extracting the times for each individual deposit is this first frame where I can see that my interact key is pressed in the on-screen HUD that I have displaying. I'll take the millisecond timer from the top right, and I will consider the last frame to be whenever the final chunk of the final bar of minerals disappears from view, and I'll take the same snapshot from the timer and subtract them from each other. Also, for all these tests, we're going to be using 120 minerals no matter what. So for our first test, we're just going to do a completely normal deposit. Starting on 7 minutes, 50 seconds, and 164 milliseconds. Doing a completely normal deposit all the way through. And ending on 7 minutes, 56 seconds, and 515 milliseconds. Next, we have our first spam deposit. Neither of these felt super great, but they do give us some pretty interesting results. So the first spam deposit starts at 10 minutes, 26 seconds, and 762 milliseconds. Goes through perfectly normally with only a couple of hitches and ends at 10 minutes, 30 seconds, and 976 milliseconds. And for good measure, I did one more spam deposit as well. This one starts at 2 minutes, 10 seconds, 686 milliseconds, and ends at 2 minutes, 14 seconds, and 591 milliseconds. And lastly, we have a little clip from Mr. Arthio showing us just how fast spam depositing can be when tool assisted. Deposit starts at 1 minute 28 seconds, 387 milliseconds, and ends only a few seconds later at 1 minute 30 seconds, 0.392. So now let's go over these numbers that we got from each of these tests. From our first normal deposit, we came out with a time of 6 seconds and 351 milliseconds. From our first spam deposit, we came out with a time of 4 seconds, 214 milliseconds. And our second spam deposit came out with a time of 3 seconds and 905 milliseconds. And Arthio's tool assisted spam deposit was a blistering 2 seconds and 5 milliseconds. So needless to say the writing's on the wall and you can pretty easily tell that even just normal human spamming on the pickaxe key can cut off about 30 to 40 percent of the time. Even if you do this suboptimally it will still be better than just holding the deposit key. And obviously, if you're interested in using tools, you can cut off around 60 to 70% of the total time. Hello everybody, Future Chronos here, interjecting because uh, hot off the presses, I just learned some new information in the process of making this video. 
is that Veteran Depositor actually works in a positive way with spam depositing. I didn't realize it at the time of starting my process on this video, and I really was operating under a false assumption that it wouldn't work. But due to the way that Veteran Depositor is actually coded in the game, it does boost spam depositing. And while I'm not going to run through all of the testing again because it's simply going to boost all of the numbers by 50%, I will explain why it does that. So if you recall earlier on, whenever we were testing out the deposit, we realized that depositing happened in increments of 5. So the way that Veteran Depositor reads on the card is it boosts your deposit speed by 50%. And while this is in practice true when holding the button, in reality it actually boosts the increment that you deposit by by 50%. This means we deposit minerals in chunks of 7.5 rather than units of 5. I changed my armor spec over to have 45 minerals in my pockets to better exemplify this as it will take exactly 6 presses of the deposit button to deposit all of the minerals. So essentially, every time that you're spamming when spam depositing, you're depositing 50% more minerals. Not entirely sure why, but for a long time I just assumed it wouldn't accelerate the rate at which you spam deposit. And while 50% is nothing to shake a stick at, I realized that I could use a different perk in that slot while spam depositing instead of using veteran depositor. However, in the process of making this video and realizing that Veteran Depositor actually boosts spam depositing even further, I'm legitimately considering taking it in some of my builds. So once again, I've learned something in the process of making a video. You'll love to see it. But that's about all I have for you today. If you'd like to join and become a YouTube member, you can check out the join But Hold on. Wait. S stop the credits. We got a second YouTube member? Release the balloon! <laughs>